A common sedative could break consciousness by tipping your brain into chaos. Can you imagine? A loss of controlled inhibition of overly excited brain cells might explain how a common knockout anesthesia drug works. A new animal study led by researchers from Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, has found that propofol, a sedative used to safely lull people into unconsciousness for medical procedures, disrupts the brain's normal ability to regain control of highly excitable neurons. The brain has to operate on this knife's edge between excitability and chaos, explains MIT neuroscientist and senior study author Earl Miller. It's got to be excitable enough for its neurons to influence one another, but if it gets too excitable, it spins off into chaos. Propofol seems to disrupt the mechanisms that keep the brain in that narrow operating range. The team measured the brain activity of a pair of rhesus macaque monkeys for one hour as they lost and regained consciousness after being dosed with propofol. Hundreds of electrodes placed on the animal's scalps recorded electrical activity in four brain regions while the macaques were asleep and awake. The researchers then analyzed the data with a new technique they developed for quantifying the stability or robustness of brain activity. Normally, brain activity spikes when inputs are received and then levels out. One, but once propofol dosing began, the animal's brain activity took longer to return to baseline and then became increasingly excitable as anesthesia deepened until the animals lost consciousness. The researchers suggest propofol acts on inhibitory neurons that would otherwise dull overzealous brain activity and return the system to stability after disturbances. This loss of inhibition leads to escalating instability and eventually a loss of consciousness as if the system gets tripped and the brain can no longer process information. Of course, this is just one new theory. Despite nearly two centuries of use, we have only a fuzzy idea of how anesthetics work. A landmark discovery in 1994 suggested anesthetics act on proteins involved in cell signaling rather than the fatty molecules that make up the cell membranes. In 2018, Australian neuroscientists also discovered that propofol messes with a key protein that nerve cells use to communicate with each other. And yet as recently as 2020, researchers were still finding that other commonly used anesthetic drugs meddled with lipid membranes, so it's darn complicated. Zooming out to look at entire brain networks, scientists have made progress in the past few decades in identifying distinct brain circuits involved in either the loss of consciousness induced by anesthetics or awakening from it when the drugs wear off. In a similar vein, the researchers behind this latest study looked at patterns in overall brain activity, extrapolating from the electrode measurements and using a computer model to test their theory. While their findings suggest propofol inhibits inhibitory neurons, a study of fruit flies published just last month found another anesthesia drug has somewhat of an opposite effect, targeting excitatory neurons but in a different way. And rather than unleashing excitatory neurons, Isofluran appears to stop excitatory neurons from communicating, silencing them. These differences might be explained by the fact that the studies looked at different anesthetic drugs, isoflurane, which is inhaled, and propofol, which is injected intravenously, and are known to have different effects on neurons and cell receptors. And even so, the team thinks there might still be some commonalities between anesthetic drugs and their effects on the stability of brain-wide dynamics. If you find common mechanics at work across different anesthetics, you can make them all safer by tweaking a few knobs instead of having to develop safety protocols for all the different anesthetics one at a time, Miller said. You don't want a different system for every anesthetic they're going to use in the operating room. You want one that'll do it all. The study was published on Neuron Magazine, 
and this is by Claire Watson and Science Alert. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.